Okay, so today we're going to build the Pax wardrobe. So we've taken them out of the box. So we have these two big panels and we got those panels. And we also have a couple of thin, long panels that are in the other room. And we have all the bits and bobs there, screws and whatnot. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do first. This would be that edge, which is this edge, and we're gonna put at the top so we're attaching that using these <laughs> screws right here. There's only four of them. So that's what it looks like. This is basically what would hold it on the wall so it doesn't tip over. And we're gonna do it on the other panel. So now that's done. The next thing is to use that screw at the very top of each panel. And also at the bottom, like two holes third hole from the very bottom hole and then at the top it would be at the very top hole next we do at the outside holes on each side we're going to do the same on the other panel it's actually not at the very outside but the one that is aligned to the long rows of holes. <laughs> so there you go, that's what it looks like. And at the bottom, we're just gonna do the same. But at the same level as the first one that we put, which is three holes up from the bottom. We should all line up with the ones at the top. Okay, now we go to the smaller panels and we're gonna put pegs, wooden pegs like so, on the inner holes, on that edge and also at the bottom edge. So on one of the panels you have to hammer in this That's it. So it needs to be hammered in really hard and it should be flat. Like that. Next we take this and this. Oh. You have to hear a click sound. So now we need this skinny ones. More pegs? Yeah. And Those. we're gonna put pegs. So we're gonna do it on this one and also on the other one. There's another one down there. Both sides? Yeah. This skinny panels for wood that we have. This one is actually colored white and the other one is just I don't think it's white it's just a uh, wood color and as it is at all covered when you're building it you have to make sure you have enough height so it has to have a clearance of 210 centimeters well not clearance but you should have at least 200 centimeters of height from floor to ceiling okay so first we're gonna attach the smaller panel there's that and then this bit here yeah. should go on the opposite side of that. Which hole does it go to? Oh, with the pegs, where the metal bits are. So there. And you need these with metal. That's what it looks like. Now we just have to push it 
these ones. Okay, so for those holes there. And then we have to do the same at the top with the other panel. So we're going to use those again on those holes. One, two, three holes. This is what it looks like outside. There we are. Okay, so now we're gonna get the two thin wood panels. So the white one would be, okay, so you just have to like match the pegs with the holes. So the very outside holes. So that's the white one and then the one without the white color would be obviously going alongside the rough part of the cupboard, which is the back. And again, match it up with the hole so that they would easily touch the bottom panel. Now it's time to put the long panel on top of this. So basically, obviously the one wherever that thing is should match up with that thing. There. Um, this is what it looks like now. So now we have to put these where the little metal pegs are and three on that side. Just like what we did at the bottom. Okay, so we've turned it around so that we are working on the back of the cupboard. So you have the rough wood and we're going to put in, put the cover for the back, which are the thin wood panels that we have right here. There's two of them. That thin panel, it's not two, but it's one. It's just folded. So basically, there's no other holes except for those two big holes, which should match the metals that we put earlier at the start. And now we have to nail them in so using these. So you basically go all the way around. So we got the complement Coles rail 100 cm. It already comes with all the screws and stuff. So you basically just attach it there. Up to you how high or how low you want. We also got this mesh basket, complement mesh basket. We got two of them and we got the necessary attachment thing i don't know what i call now it's so late and it, but basically what you need to attach on the wardrobe frame so that you can easily slide the basket in and out So now we're here to build the drawers. Again, we got complement drawers. First thing we need to do is actually building the drawers. First, we need the long piece that looks like this with the holes. Mm -hmm. So we need the metal screw things, which look like this. And they're gonna go on the outer holes. So when you put the side panel 
the bigger holes would obviously need to go on these. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to finish filming the entire process, including putting on the doors and because it was already very late. But here's a sneak peek of what the inside of the wardrobe looks like with clothes and stuff in it. Yeah, the interior and baskets and drawers and everything come from the range complement. And obviously the frame of the wardrobe is from the PAX wardrobe frame and the doors are from the Grimo range. We love this wardrobe. It's very spacious. The only thing I don't like about it is I feel like the doors that we got for some reason don't really match because as you can see from the top there seems to be, I don't know, we tried everything to make sure that they're all level but they're not level but because it was already very late and we were so tired we just went with it. Apart from that, we love this wardrobe. It's spacious and does the job for us. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you again next time. Bye! Don't forget to subscribe for more videos. And if you like this one, give it a thumbs up and share.